Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to install Windows 11 in five minutes with MicroWin. Now, MicroWin has been created by Chris Titus. Quite a few people wanted me to do a video on it to have a look. So I thought I'd do this quick video. So first off, what you're going to need to do is download the ISO from Microsoft. This is going to basically allow you to download the multi-edition ISO from Microsoft. And we can use this with MicroWin, which is basically going to allow us to remove all of the applications that come bundled inside this ISO and also a bunch of other bloat that comes in the Windows 11 ISO. It's not going to actually change any of the settings uh, on there. So what you'll need to do is make sure you head over to his website. I'll leave a link for it in the video description and copy this one command code here. All you need to do then is open up PowerShell as administrator by typing PowerShell in the search and run this. This will open up the little box like this. All you need to do is paste these code in like so and push enter. And this will open up the application looking like this. Now there is these tweaks right here. We'll look at that a little bit later on. But what we're going to be taking a look at here is the actual micro wind right here. And you can see here it removes telemetry and tracking. It also gives you a faster install gives you a local user account as well. And it also allows you to install with no internet connection as well. So it's going to remove all of the built in applications inside this ISO. So it removes those before you actually install them. So rather than using, say, for instance, a XML file, which is an auto unattended file and removing stuff during the installation that way, this is allowing you to rip it right out uh, before you actually install it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the ISO that we just downloaded here. Click open and this will then populate on the actual program here. And it's going to allow us to uh, choose what version of Windows we want to create. Now, I want to be creating a pro version here. So you should see something looking like this popping up behind the background. And you can open this up so you can see what's happening. You've got to leave this running. You can't close this box up. Otherwise, the application will stop. This needs to be running in the background. So once it's done unpacking the ISO, it's going to allow us to choose what version we want to do here. So you can see here, we can choose whatever version we want to create. So we're going to be creating a Windows 11 Pro version right here. Next, you can inject uh, drivers into your ISO if you want to. I'm going to leave this alone because there's not much use of doing this right here. But if you do want to inject them, you can do. This is how you, I'll show you another video on how to do that if you want to see that video. And there's also import drivers from the current system that you're using. We're going to also leave that and you can also copy to Ventoy as well. We're not going to be covering that in this video, but let me go ahead and name this ISO. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this win 11 underscore 24 H2. And we can call this, say, for instance, micro win. So we know exactly what ISO we've got because we've got the original one right there. So let's click save. And we'll save that in the same location. And once we've done this, this will start the process. So let's go ahead and we'll start this process off. Now, if you look at the little command prompt window here or prompt screen here, you'll see it's starting to mount the Windows image. This will take a while, so be patient. Now, I've made old videos like this before where programs used to allow you to mount the image and then you can remove certain components and then recompile them and basically that's what it's doing. So we're mounting the Windows image here and then what it's going to do is it's going to run its own little script in the background and remove certain particular types of uh, bloat that comes pre-installed in this ISO. I'll speed this process up, but you can see it's starting to remove features from the image. And if you look at the blue bar there, you can see what it's actually removing. I will speed this up, but it's going through here and removing a bunch of stuff that is not necessarily on a lot of these systems like uh, Candy Crush and all that other rubbish that comes bundled inside here. Now, the problem I see with these particular programs is you have very little control over what is being removed. A lot of this stuff that is being removed is going to be uh, stuff that a lot of people don't need. But there'll always be that one person that actually does need it. And of course, if you've removed it, then it's not going to be inside the ISO. That being said, you could go straight over to the Windows Store and download those components again and install them again if you wanted to. 
So there's that option. Now, what this is doing is actually creating a nice clean uh, install for you to then tweak after the fact. And you can use Chris's tool or you can use scripts or anything that you like after the fact to, uh, you know, take away a lot of the telemetry and things like that. This is just giving you a cleaner install, basically, when you're installing it with your micro uh, win uh, ISO that we've just created. So I'm going to boot up to that ISO right now, and I'm going to go ahead and install uh, that uh, ISO onto a virtual machine here, and I'll show you exactly what it's actually doing here. So you get the same setup here. You're just going to get the select your keyboard, installation, install Windows, agree to everything, and it's going to erase everything on the computer. And basically, we don't have a key. Now, he could have added in some code into this program if he wanted to, to skip all of this stuff, but I think he's left that in, and I think it's a good idea to leave this sort of stuff in to give people a choice. Once it's finished installing, it will look something like this, where it's nice and clean. It's still doing something in the background, and you will see a Win Utility icon on the desktop. Don't worry about that. I'll show you that in a second. Let me just make the screen a bit bigger uh, to 1920 by 1080 here, and we'll take a closer look. So as I've said before, this is not actually debloating Windows in a sense of removing every bit of bloat from Windows. It's not doing all of the telemetry part like your privacy and security questions. You will still need to take care of those. Game bar and all that stuff is still left on here. Microsoft Edge is on here. Uh, Stipping tool is still on here. Windows backup and things like that. They are still on this particular ISO. He's left some of that stuff on. Uh, whether he's going to be removing that in the future, you will have to take that conversation up with himself, maybe on his discord server if he has one but when we have a look here inside the settings it's give us a user account called user and it's also created a local account now the problem with that is someone might say yeah but i don't want it called user and this is the problem when you're trying to please everyone it's very very difficult it hasn't changed any of the privacy settings or any of that and you will need to do that after the fact all this has done is giving you a nice clean canvas to start start with rather than having a load of bloat on there now, that is quite easy to remove after you've installed Windows, but this is doing it before that, so you don't have to worry. Now, there is a shortcut to his tool here, which you can click on, and it will automatically open this up uh, in PowerShell as administrator, and it's going to allow us to run that tool, and then you can run some tweaks on here if you wanted to. Let me quickly show you, because you will need to do this if you want to stop all the telemetry and things like that, because... This actual micro win is not actually doing that. So you'd have to go to the tweak section and you would have to then run this on here. Now, you don't necessarily have to run his tool to do this. You could run a script or you could run uh, shut up 10 or you can run whatever you like on here to do your uh, privacy and security settings if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. But all he's done here is created a program to create a ISO, which is sort of nice and clean, really, to start start with. So if you wanted to do this, you can just select a bunch of this stuff here under the standard settings, and then you would just run your tweaks, and it will go ahead and start to uh, run these tweaks on the system. Now, you can also do this in auto unattended installation as well. Uh, you can also do this via a custom ISO where you can rip the guts out of it if you wanted to. Uh, but you can do a bunch of different stuff uh, in different ways. There's many ways to skin a cat. And it just depends on which way you want to go about doing it. This is uh, Chris's way of approaching things. He likes to start off with a micro win ISO, clean ISO, and then go ahead and run his tweaks with his little application. If that's your bag, then you can go ahead and do that. Let me just quickly show you what's happening in the background once we run this. It's going to go off. And like I've told you before, this program is not doing anything super special. It's just running uh, a script in the background and basically... Uh, changing a lot of these settings in the registry and things like that. And that's all these uh, programs are doing. They've just got a GUI interface on the front end of them, and it just runs a bunch of code in the background uh, disabling stuff. And you can actually see that on the screen right here, where it says set HKLM, uh, and then it's got colon backslash software policies Microsoft. It's setting a bunch of these. Now it's doing the services part, uh, setting these to manual uh, as well. Some of these services will be set to manual, and it's also doing a bunch of other stuff. Now, this is an actual batch file that I'm showing you right here. Same thing, 
But this is set to a yes or no thing where you can choose whether you want to disable the Windows search. You can say Wi-Fi yes. And again, you can put uh, here, disable smart screen. I could say no, I want to keep smart screen. This gives you a little bit more control. And this is a, just an actual batch file. This is nothing uh, fancy with a GUI interface on the front end. This is just a batch file that is running and it's giving you a yes or no answers of what you actually want to keep or what you want to disable. And it will do exactly the same thing. There's programs like oh no, Shut Up 10, which will do a similar thing where you're not installing anything on the system. You're just basically doing a, a bunch of presets, uh, policies, and then basically it will run those and then basically create its own little folder with its policies and disable all that stuff on the, on the PC. And it's easy reversible as well using programs like Shut Up 10 as well. So whatever floats your boat, really, whatever way you want to go about, uh, you know, changing all of your settings, whether it be using the first tool or using a batch file or shut up 10 or whatever it is you want to use on your system, you're still going to need to do this afterwards because obviously MicroWin is just a Windows ISO that has had all of the applications removed from it. It's not like a custom ISO like, say, Atlas OS or one of those other custom ones like Tiny11 that have had the guts ripped out of them, or well, Tiny Elevens had the guts ripped out of it and made it a super small ISO where it's removed a lot of the applications like Windows Defender or maybe a lot of these settings are already pre-configured already in that ISO. And you've seen me make videos on that in the past. This is a completely different approach to uh, this uh, type of thing. So there's quite a few ways of going about doing it. This is using a batch file, or you can use... Uh, you know, other programs like I've already mentioned. And once you've run the script or whatever program you've run, you'd have something looking like this with a, a pretty clean install at, that's been debloated and also all your settings have been changed by using either the methods that I've told you before, whether it be a script or whether it be a batch file or a win utility that is uh, been created by Chris Titus. It's entirely up to you which way you go about doing it, but this makes life a lot easier for a lot of people. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below whether this is something that you would use or whether you think is a good idea. I think the feedback will be good for Chris as well if he wants to continue with something like this. I'll be interested to see how far he takes this project further down the line. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group with your tier one, tier two or tier three. I do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.